Hi and welcome to my first video. I want to show you how to what RSI is and how you can use it for making money while trading and investing in the stock market. There are going to be three videos. The first part I'm going to explain to you concept and this is that video. And after that I will in the next video I'll move to alerts and divergence. And the third video I'll show you how to use RSI in profitable trades. Now there's a little bit of a little bit of stuff I want to explain to beginners. Um, it's a powerful RSI as you would have heard or relative strength index. It's a powerful indicator that tells you actually it doesn't tell you whether the stock is in bull or bear territory. It tells you when to invest and when to get out of the stock and that's what I'm going to show you. Right. By default it is set to 14 trading periods. Now if you have I'm sure all of you would have known what a, uh, how to work charts or you would have tried your hand at charts. So a trading period is you know one candle represents a trading period. If you set your chart to, five, to a five minute uh, to a five minute candle then that then that one candle is equal to five minutes and that's a, a five minute trading period. You know if you set your chart to one day if you set your uh, chart to one day so each candle will represent one of the activity within that whole uh, within one one whole day right so you there are di there are different parameters you know like i mean rsi can be used differently for different time periods but right now i'm not going to go into that i'm going to go into that in the third video so right now i'm going to tell you what rsi is you know and i want you to stick to 14 trading periods i don't want you to go to uh, there are a lot of analysts that tell you to go into a lower 10 periods or 12 periods or 11 periods forget about all that because <laughs> Because the trading periods of the 14 trading periods is a tried and tested, tried and tested system. It's been going on since many years and it's worked successfully. And I can vouch that it works successfully in my case as well. And I'm going to show you how to how to how you can work it successfully as well, right? So one thing I want to tell you before we start is that RSI, if you use it well, you can even use it to mine multi baggers. Forget about your swing trades, your intraday trades, that is always there. You know, you can even mine multi baggers and I'll show you how to do that. Right? So let's let's now before we start, before you use any indicator, it is extremely important that you know what it is all about. Without knowing if you have just heard that RSI is a great indicator and you start using it and you start looking at levels 50, 60, 70, 80, it doesn't make any sense. You gotta know how to, how it operates. And I'm gonna show you how it operates. Right. So let's start with that. This whole video is how it, about how it operates. Right. Now, before I start that, I want you, I want the beginners among you to see the trading periods out here. You know, this is five minutes, this is 15 minutes, this is one hour, one day, one month. Right. And so on and so forth. So here I've chosen one day. So each candle out here represents one day's activity. Right. So this is just making the concept clear for beginners. There's nothing much the uh, many other many others know about it. So let's let's move on to the next slide, right? Now, now I'm going to clear the concept of RSI. I want you to now it's on period zero. You know, before the RSI is calculated, the the stock is at the stock or whatever the security or commodity or whatever is at thousand, right? Then we have the 14 trading periods out here, right? That is where the RSI is calculated, RSI 14. So on the after the first uh, on the first period it goes to 1010, so that's a gain of 10. The next period it falls to 990, that's a loss of 20. Then it moves to 1000 again, that's a gain of 10, and so on and so forth. So I have plotted all the gains out here, all the losses out here. And coincidentally, and uh, not coincidentally, I'm sorry, you can have a copy of this PDF. I'll, I'll explain to you how to get a copy of this if you want. If you want to study at home, I, I'll send it to you. Right? So this is the gains. I've plotted the gains over here. I've plotted the losses over here. I've mentioned that blah blah thing again about the periods and stuff like that, but uh, which I've already explained to you. Let's go to the next. Right? Now, now what I've done over here is in this in this slide I've totaled up the total gains. I'm getting 115, and I've totaled up the losses. I'm getting 100, 
right now i have divided them by 14 because we have to we have to calculate the average gain and the average loss so the average gain i'm getting when i divide 115 by 14 i'm getting 8.214 and the loss i'm getting as 7.14 right forget about all this is written here this is just for the pdf over here this, i'm just clearing the concept with you i'll explain all whatever was written on the right i'll explain in the second and the third videos right so let's go to the let's go to the uh, next uh, slide now <clears throat> you don't have to focus on the formula the formula is a technical bit you have to focus on the levels of rsi the rsi reading 50 60 70 20 30 40 you know you got to focus on that but like i told you in the beginning you know you got to you got to know what the indicator is before you apply it okay so i'm going to show you just for the sake of showing you what the formula of rsi is it's this formula which you can have in the pdf that's 100 minus in bracket 100 divided by 1 into the uh, into the divisor of uh, into the uh, divisor of average gain by average loss so if i take this example into account i'm getting 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus 8.214 this is 8.214 divided by 7.14 right so this i'm getting 100 point minus 46.51 is equal to rsi is equal to 53.49 in this particular case where we have 115 gain and 100 loss in 14 trading periods right now what does this tell us what does the rsi of 53.49 tell us let's go to that what conclusions can we draw now in 14 periods the stock has moved up from 1000 to 1015 that means 1.5% is the appreciation in the stock that is 15 divided by 1000 so i'm sure you know about percentages so 1.5 is the upward movement in the stock and the rsi reads at 53 now is a 1.5% gain in the stock at and the rsi at 53 does it is it bullish is it is it uh, neutral or what is it you know this is something which i'm going to tackle in the second video right so this video is for you to to understand how rsi what rsi takes into account and what it calculates so this is what you have right now so let's go to the next i've cleared a concept i've cleared the concept with you right in the next video part 2 i'll uh, i'll explain to you what are the rsi alert levels to watch and whether this 53 Point four nine that we got whether that that thing is relevant or not you know I'll explain to you divergence in the second video don't bother about uh, don't bother about levels and divergence right now but I'll clear everything in the second one then I'll show you how to use RSI in the third video very profitably to get get both cash and FNO on both cash and FNO stocks right so this was my this I've cleared this is the first concept clearing video. and uh, if you need a copy of this tutorial as a pdf you can mail me at uh, bulbulstocks@gmail.com and this is my other regular marketing shit and you're going to read that anyway so well I, if you have any questions leave a comment in the in the youtube uh, comment box or you can always mail it mail it to me and i'll be happy to answer you if you have any clarifications you can always call my person at 7707911100 and with that I'll close my first video and I'll see you in the next. Thanks and bye.